four right, speed 180, Skyway, speed 140. Mm -hmm. Track at 2366, speed 180, zero. 180 now, back at 2366. Information echo is now current altimeter 2994. 29, number 2959, 50. I got 650, Skyway, first, and I went four right. Skyway 5866, contact the tower, 120.75, Chester. Right now, Chester. Welcome to In-Flight Reviews. My name is Ian, and today we're going to be looking at the Lightspeed Sierra ANR headset. So, um, Lightspeed uh, came out with these a, uh, a couple years ago now. Um, they are less expensive than the uh, popular Zulu headsets from Lightspeed. Um, it doesn't have as many of the features as the Zulu has, but they are still very solid headsets, and I think for the price of $600, a very great value. Um, I've been flying with, uh, my pair here for over a year, and, uh, I can't think of getting another headset. Um, I'm very happy with them. So, start off, uh, first thing, uh, you'll notice with the Sierras that differ from the Zulus, is most of the headset is plastic. Um, there isn't very much metal here, unlike the Zulus, um, the ear cups on the side here. Uh, these are plastic and uh, not metal. Um, now, one of the drawbacks is increased weight with uh, this headset, but it's only three ounces, and really, I don't notice it um, very much at all. Um, the padding around the ear cups is uh, very, very soft, uh, very form-fitting, uh, very comfortable. Um, also on the top here, the headband, very comfortable. And uh, you see here in the center, there's a notch cut out there. That's four. Um, if you have a hat on, uh, it won't be pushing that little uh, button down into your, uh, your head for uh, long periods of time while you fly, which is pretty nice. Um, these are completely adjustable on the side here, uh, so be sure to fit any uh, head size. Um, the boom mic on the side, you know, rotates just like uh, most uh, headsets and flexes, and uh, the sensitivity on that is, uh, is pretty good right out of the box. Um, down the cable here, we see our uh, kind of control unit that comes with it. Um, on the front here, you see the volume sliders for our uh, main volume. Here you can see it's in stereo, so you can uh, have one side louder than the other side. Um, or you can put it into mono by taking off the panel here in the back, and uh, there's a switch in there that you can uh, flick. Um, here is the main power button for the active noise reduction. It's so around like that. It will flash green to let you know that the active noise reduction is on, um, and then just hold it, turn it off. Here is the Bluetooth sync function. You can uh, connect it to your uh, Bluetooth enabled cell phone and uh, make uh, phone calls right out, uh, right through your uh, headset if you have to. Um, and then here on the bottom is a volume for the inline mic and also the Bluetooth. Um, the inline, uh, the auxiliary in uh, connection here, um, you can hook in an iPod or any other device. I personally, I use it for uh, my GPS. I have uh, audio warnings on uh, my GPS, uh, which is uh, pretty nice to have. It, it, uh, it is a pretty, pretty good tool. Down further on the, uh, on the plugs here, we can see that you have a standard uh, mic plug for fixed wing aircraft and a quarter inch uh, headphone plug, pretty standard. Um, the headsets come with uh, this carrying case. Um, I think that the carrying case could be improved. Um, this one, it, it, there's not a lot of padding in it. It's just fabric. Um, you know, if you drop these, uh, you know, any considerable height, I don't think that the case would, would do it much good other than maybe keeping large scratches or something uh, from, from hitting your, your headset. Um, inside the case, there's a little pocket there to uh, kind of keep batteries, spare batteries uh, for your active noise reduction. And in the 
center here, there's kind of a, a flap here to keep your cables all organized and keep them from tangling inside of, uh, inside of your case. Um, the active noise reduction on it is pretty good. Um, it gets rid of a lot of the bass um, from the engine noise. Um, you still can hear um, warnings, uh, you know, stall warnings from your dash, everything perfectly fine. Um, you can still hear people in the back uh, talking if they can't um, get their mics to work in the back, or if, even if you don't have a mic input on the back, you can, uh, you can still kind of hear someone talking in the back. Um, one of the complaints that people have had with these headsets is that there is a um, kind of high-pitched noise that goes along with the active noise reduction. Now, it doesn't bother me. I've heard it a couple times, but I kind of had to be listening for it. I had to sit down and, and say, well, is this true? And, and yeah, it's, it's, it can be there, but um, really, um, when you're uh, busy and, and, and flying, you're not going to be focusing on that noise. It, it's pretty quiet. And even with the noise that gets through, <coughs> excuse me, even with the noise that gets through the, the noise reduction, um, you, you're not going to really notice it. Um, I think that for the money, this is a fantastic headset. I, uh, I can't imagine wanting another pair. Um, at the end of this video, uh, there will be an audio sampling of kind of what the noise reduction sounds like, um, with some music going in the background. Um, <clears throat> while it's not engine noise, um, it is a pretty good representation of how it gets rid of the noise. You can definitely hear um, the bass be dissipated by the, the noise reduction and how you can kind of hear what I'm talking about where you can still hear people talking, you can still hear high-pitched noises, um, but definitely that, that bass gets cut out and it really does help. I have had a couple flights in the time with these where I got caught with, uh, with no replacement batteries and my batteries died. Now this lasts for about 40 hours of, uh, of use, but sometimes inside your, your bag and everything, it can get turned on and I think it goes for about 20 minutes or so and then it will turn itself off. Um, but even without the noise reduction, they were still perfectly usable. The, the insulation inside these uh, ear cups is perfectly adequate, um, but when you kind of have been flying for a couple hours and you're used to not hearing a lot of noise and then when a lot of noise all of a sudden is let in because of no uh, noise reduction um, it can kind of catch you off guard. But anyways uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully uh, this is the first video of the in-flight reviews um, programs on here on uh, YouTube and hopefully in the near future there will be a couple more reviews I'm going to be looking at the uh, Garmin 696 GPS system and also kind of going through um, some of the functions of ForeFlight and kind of how uh, that can be utilized in a really uh, effective way for uh, uses in aviation. So uh, thank you for watching.